Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to solve for r using the quadratic formula. And the reason why we have to use the quadratic formula is a couple reasons. One, we can't just solve for r by isolating the variable because I have two variables. But what draws me into using the quadratic formula for this is because I cannot combine these because one, I have a variable to the second power and here I have a variable to the first power. And when you have a variable to the second power and down, this is what we call a quadratic equation. And quadratic equations can be put in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. And a lot of times there's different little techniques to be able to solve quadratic equations. And one of them is using the quadratic formula. And the reason why we call it the quadratic formula is because it's a formula to find the values of r using the coefficients. Well, I guess I could write it like this, right? Because my variable now is r. Are using the coefficients of your r term. So the quadratic formula states um, opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a is going to equal your value r. So now what I need to do is I just need to evaluate by plugging in a, b, and c. So what I look into, I have a is going to equal 1, b is 2, and c is negative 3. So I'm going to plug those into my equation. So I have opposite of um, 2, which is going to be negative 2, plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times c, which is negative 3, divided by uh, 2 times 1. So when I get this, I get 4, or 2 squared, which is 4, minus, and then I do negative, well, I can do negative 3 times negative 4, which is going to be a positive 12. So I have 4 plus 12, which is 16. So I have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 all over 2. Well, I can evaluate the square root of 16, which is going to be 4. So I have negative 2 plus or minus 4 divided by 2. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to, only to evaluate this uh, plain and simple. What you can do is you can do this a couple different ways. You can separate, remember all this is being divided by 2. So you can first add them and then divide by 2 or and then subtract them divide by 2. Or you can divide the 2 into both of those terms and then add and subtract. But I always like to just add on top and then divide by 2. So I could have negative 2 plus 4, which would be 2. Um, 2 divided by 2 is going to equal 1. Or I could have negative 2 minus 4 would give me negative 6. Negative 6 divided by 2 is going to be a negative 3. So therefore, my solutions to this quadratic, um, by using the quadratic formula, are going to be 1 and negative 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure that you just use your quadratic formula and plug them all in. Thanks again.